Church burned to the ground in April of 1993. Volunteers were hard at work this afternoon in their continuing mission to rebuild the Davidian Church that was destroyed in 1993. The project began six weeks ago when Austin DJ Alex Jones and others from around the state and the nation decided they wanted the Davidians to once again have a place to worship. The continued effort of volunteers has inspired members of the church and given them a renewed sense of hope. I think there's basic goodness in uh, most people, and I think when they're given an opportunity to express it in a manner like this, it, uh, it's good to see it brought out you know, and, and activated on. Workers will complete work on the outer structure of the building in the next few weeks and will then concentrate on the interior. Waiting on the summer of my soul. Live Mount like that. So we just come out here every Sunday out of here at Mount Carmel. This project will probably be going on for several, several galactic millennium. And now we'll, we'll get it done. We'll, we'll, we'll get this project done. I would say there's a, in, in Waco there are probably just a handful of branch committees. There are many more around the world. Uh, a lot of them have, you know, because of what happened here, um, because of the judgment that happened here. They have kind of, they're waiting, sitting on the sidelines, waiting for something to happen here uh, that they might recognize as a call of God. And I believe that there will be many more, uh, you know, stand up and be counted uh, because they'll recognize that God is working here. And even, even if it's just a, a, a political coming together, that's still you know, in the works with God. I mean, it's, it doesn't always have to be a spiritual thing. It can also be a political thing. Bringing people together of like minds to uh, against the adversary of our souls and our freedom, which could, you know, the one world order could very well be what is going to come against us uh, at this time. So, um, although there are only a few to stand up and be counted, but they're just waiting, waiting and waiting. And I hope that this building is going to give them um, a, something that's going to move them to, to see that God is still doing something. 
there's something else that I'd like to add uh, to what I said earlier. Uh, everyone is welcome to come here and to share their views, whether it be political or whether it be spiritual. Uh, we're all trying to learn uh, what God has for us and what God has done here. Uh, and we need everyone's input. So I'm, I'm, I'm uh, inviting you all, especially those who have donated and have uh, helped in building this place so we could have a place to come together. Uh, I'm, I'm inviting you to come to our services and to come to share what you feel uh, moved you to, to help here. And uh, again, I want to thank you all and we appreciate all that you've done, everything. Thank you very much. See though, that there, that is razor wire. That is so sharp. You can hardly touch it, it will cut you. They had some that was bigger. It was about twice the width of this. And that's what I was looking for, but I don't see it here. But they put the razor wire in front of the windows. You know, they said they wanted the people to come out, but they put the razor wire in front of the windows and there was no way the people could come out of those windows, which they could have crawled out of at any time with that wire there. That would have ripped them to pieces. You have no concept of how sharp that is. I Work on the new Brent's Davidian Church continued today despite what builders call a setback in the project. Austin-based DJ Alex Jones, who has headed up the promotion and rebuilding of the church, was fired from KJFK Radio last week. Jones contends he was fired because of his promotion of the new church. KJFK Radio is not commenting this evening on the matter. Despite his firing, Jones feels strongly about the project and says he will continue to promote it. The fact of the matter is, uh, these people were murdered, and I'm, I'm not a Branch Davidian, but I still believe in their right to uh, practice religion and not to be killed. Koresh could have been picked up in town at any time. Um, and that's where I stand today, and we will complete the construction project. It will be done. Uh, Jimmy, rumors, rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. <laughs> you know, I get 30, 40 times the email and letters from my Genesis show. It's uh, week 17, and I'm digging around out here in some of the rubble piles. We've been digging up household implements, knives, forks, scissors, uh, batteries, and a lot of fragments, uh, government grenades and uh, tear gas rounds. We've also been finding a lot of different 50 cal rounds, 223 rounds for conventional uh, firearms. Really, really interesting and historical. It's too bad the feds came out here and scraped away most of the topsoil and uh, took uh, the pieces of the of the storm shelter, uh, the storage area inside where they killed the children with the shape charge, shipped it off to a landfill outside Waco and covered it up with concrete. We're trying to dig up what we can out here while we're uh, constructing the new sanctuary. Very historical and it's great to be a part of it. My name is Cyrus. I was eight years old when I died. I was burned alive at Mount Carmel April 19, 1993.